Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Duality 9Xers around the world. Welcome back to another exciting episode right here on Duality 9X, where we do our best to separate fact from fiction. So today's video is about things that the camera caught that we shouldn't have seen. So if that intrigues you, believe me, you want to see this video. There are some pretty interesting things here, and honestly, I question whether or not it should have even been uploaded and released on various social media platforms. So before they take this down, I want you guys to watch it, share your comments. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. So if you're new to the channel, please smash the like and subscribe. So without further ado, grab your beverage guys, because we're about to take off. Let's go. There are a lot of things in this world that people wouldn't believe in if there wasn't any video or photographic evidence of it. Thanks to our advancement in technology, we now have mobile phones equipped with cameras so that we can easily take a quick picture of whatever we want. Because of that, we now have a lot of footage that's sometimes better left unseen. From the door to hell, to scheming delivery woman, here are times when a camera captured what no one was supposed to see. Number 15. The Door to Hell This is the so-called door or gate to hell. You don't need to worry though, because this huge burning crater is actually just burning gas. It's officially known as the Darvaza Crater, found in the hot desert of Karakum in Turkmenistan. This huge hole that's 320 feet wide and 60 feet deep has been burning for over 50 years. Oh. The fire burns so bright that you can see its glow from miles away. The exact cause of the internal inferno is unknown. However, many people claim that a Soviet drill accidentally punctured a gas cavern. While many tourists would often visit the cavern, the president of Turkmenistan is actually now trying to find a way to extinguish the fire because of environmental reasons. Apparently, the crater consumes valuable natural resources that could have been used for the betterment of the country instead. Furthermore, the continuous burning of methane gas can also have a negative impact on the environment. However, extinguishing the fiery gate of hell proved to be quite an impossible feat. Even today, there's still no solution to extinguish the fire. Hopefully, researchers may find a way to get rid of it soon. Hey guys, uh, this is really fascinating stuff. Anytime they talk about, you know, uncovering or finding out the gateway to the underworld, well, that's fascinating stuff. In fact, I, I have a video that I uploaded about a week ago um, saying, did we find HE double hockey sticks? Because yeah. Uh, the Russians actually dug a hole right down into the ground and they went pretty deep. And uh, what they uncovered, well, I don't want to give it away. I want you guys to watch the video. But apparently they have a recording from, from inside the hole where some claim that could be the sounds of souls being tormented. So I don't know. But anyways, uh, the Darwaza, Darwaza means door. The, the, the Darvaza crater, the door to this gateway to this particular underworld. That's pretty scary stuff. And I guess that's in Turkmenistan. So anyways, that's really interesting. Number 14, end of the rainbow. The people in this video have found the end of the rainbow. But of course, there's no pot of gold in sight. The video shows the car driving by the clear array of colors. It's quite amazing, isn't it? A rainbow is formed because of the dispersion of light in the water droplets, and it often occurs once the sun finally comes up after the rain. Rainbows are often tied to positive connotations, and we can obviously see why. Many people claim that nobody can ever really see the end of the rainbow because the oh, colors wouldn't be visible close up, but I guess there are a few lucky ones that found it. Number 13, Men in Black. Sometimes it's nice to drive on a quiet road, it's perfect to gather your thoughts and be at peace with yourself, but you can never really expect what you'll encounter on the road in the middle of nowhere. In this video, this man encountered a couple of men all dressed in suits. They move very weirdly, and their choice of location to have their quote-unquote meeting is quite bizarre. Why would anyone want to convene in the middle of a road, especially during the night? I don't know about these guys, but I'd really be disturbed if I saw them while I'm on my way home. As if the men in suits weren't enough, a spooky man with a deer mask comes right in front of the camera. Creepy, huh? But let me tell you this, 
When this video was uploaded, many people immediately thought that these people were aliens in disguise. If you think about it, it kind of makes sense considering their weird behavior. However, after digging up the origin of this video, it seems like it's actually just a vignette created for a song. Yes, the original video also has the same low quality, which kind of makes it look more genuine. Either way, many people wished they hadn't seen this footage in the first place because of how much it creeped them out. I guess this video discouraged many people from driving on a deserted road in the middle of the night. Number 12. Aldebara Tortoises What you're seeing right here are Aldebara Tortoises. Not many people realize just how enormous tortoises can get. These creatures can weigh up to 550 pounds, and their shells, or their carapace, can have the length of up to 4 feet. If you're not aware of this fact and you suddenly see them in person, then you might be terrified of these creatures at first. These tortoises are endemic to the islands of the Aldebara Atoll in the Seychelles, an archipelagic island country in the Indian Ocean. What's more is that contrary to popular belief, they aren't really that slow. In fact, they're faster than you think they are. An Aldebara tortoise can travel up to 0.3 miles per hour, which isn't really much, but they aren't really as sluggish contrary to popular belief. What's more is that these amazing creatures can actually live for more than a hundred years. These things are massive, guys. Like, look how big these are. You know, I don't know if you've seen my last video, but I was talking about the, the horrors of potentially losing these magnificent beasts. And I'm not just talking about these tortoises and, you know, uh, you know, other kinds of turtles, etc. But I'm talking about animals overall, right? We're talking about um, how tigers now are starting to potentially become an endangered species and so many different kinds of mammals and different kinds of animal species, right, that fall in that same kind of category. It's very scary to think that uh, we could possibly encounter a time where we may never be able to see these magnificent beasts roam the earth. So do your part and and be good. If if you see any litter on the ground, pick it up. Just, Believe. you know. What's more is that these amazing these, creatures uh, can actually creatures, live for uh, more than a hundred years. Number 11, slurping a jellyfish. We all view sea turtles as gentle and majestic creatures, but let's not forget that they're also wild animals. Many people will probably be surprised to see just how ferocious and merciless a sea turtle can get. For example, look at how this turtle easily gobbles up this jellyfish like it's pasta. A common sea turtle, the leatherback can grow up to 6 feet long and can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. Because of this, they need to eat a lot of jellyfish since they're mostly made out of water. It's common knowledge that jellyfishes can sting, but turtles don't really feel them. However, because turtles will gobble up anything and everything, they sometimes confuse plastic wastes in the ocean as jellyfishes. This leads to the turtle population being threatened. If this happens, there would be no animals to keep the jellyfish population oh, wow. in check, and there might be a sudden boom to the number of these stingers. Sea turtles help to maintain a delicate balance in our biodiversity. Number 10. Shy Octopus While a lot of deep-sea creatures are often menacing and bizarre-looking, did you know that there's a very adorable octopus living in the depths of 1,500 to 3,000 feet in the ocean? This is the Grimpotuthus, commonly known as the Dumbo octopus. There are many types of octopus, but these guys are the cutest. They're usually the size of a fully grown guinea pig, but scientists recently found one that's almost six feet long. That's I love like these a names. giant octopus plushie. What makes these guys adorable are their little flaps and their unique tentacles. This one guy in particular captured the hearts of the scientists the moment they saw it twirling its tentacles and covering its eyes because of the camera's bright light. They kind of look like water-type Pokémon because of how different they look. Dumbo octopuses also don't ink, so when they need to escape, they just use their tiny flaps and tentacles to glide through the water. So far, they've only been found around New Zealand, Australia, California, the Philippines, and New Guinea. But researchers believe that they can be found worldwide. Because they live at the bottom of the ocean, there's still much to find out about them. And so we must protect the sea so we can further observe these cute octopodes. Number 9. Sea Cucumber Poop The sea cucumber might be one of the most bizarre animals on Earth. There are about 1,500 species of oh. sea cucumbers out there in the ocean, and they can range from a couple of centimeters to a couple of feet in length. In a way, they're one of the goodies in the ocean. 
Just like how an oyster can filter up to 50 gallons of water per day, making it cleaner for the corals, these sea cucumbers do a lot to help maintain the ocean. What you're seeing right now is a sea cucumber expelling poop. Yes, you heard that right. What's more is that it's expelling them from the same opening it uses to breathe. Think of sea cucumbers as living fertilizer makers. First, they scavenge around the ocean and eat mainly algae, fungi, and plankton. They will then excrete it as processed nutrients for the seafloor. What's more is that collectively these sea tubes expel about 70,000 tons of sandy poop a year. They're underwater earthworms that make our coral reefs healthy and in turn make the overall health of the ecosystem in the ocean wow. habitable. That's, uh, <laughs> wow. There's a lot of poop in the ocean, guys. Uh, animal poop, right? So when you're in the ocean next time and you're just kind of swimming along, just think of all that salt water that kind of goes in your mouth and just think of all the stuff that you're, yeah, lots and lots of stuff that's going inside you. Uh, but it's interesting. Um, sea cucumbers are really fascinating. I've There's a video of a guy actually who eats them. Um, it's not something that I'd fancy, but wow, there's some, some crazy creatures in the ocean. Number eight, inside the mouth of a turtle. Many people love turtles, and I do too. They're cute, and at the same time, they're also majestic to see while they're swimming in the ocean. We already know that they like to gobble up jellyfish like they're nothing. So here's the secret as to why they're barely feeling the sting. This is what the turtle's mouth looks like. If you've ever been stung by a jellyfish, you know just why it's imperative for these guys to have special adaptations in their body to protect wow. them from the sting of the jellyfish. Inside the turtle's mouth are tiny spiky projections that protrude inwards the turtle's mouth. These spikes surround their mouth, esophagus, up until their stomach. They're made out of the same protein found in our hair and nails, keratin. It does a lot of things for the turtle. Aside from preventing them being stung by their favorite snack, it also helps break down their food and expel excess salt water that they consume. The spikes may look scary, but it's incredibly helpful. But I guess the next time you see a sea turtle, you'll be reminded just how terrifying the inside of their mouth looks. Number 7. Deer Enters Store Automatic doors truly are convenient, especially since they let anyone in. And so when this deer right here discovered that she can forage in the grocery store instead of the woods, she easily wow. pranced through this store in Wisconsin. The store security cameras captured the young deer running along the aisle. That is, until the employees created a human wall to guide her towards the back door, where she pranced back to the woods once again. Thankfully, unlike the wild bears that seem to like visiting grocery stores, the deer did no damage, and they didn't need to call for an aisle like an cleanup. Actual wild bear coming inside the store. Well, there's lots of videos on that. Maybe one day I'll try to see if I can find some. Number six, young croc underwater. Insert the menacing music because one of the most terrifying predators is here, or not. Many of us are terrified of crocodiles. These reptiles can grow up to 20 feet and can weigh more than a thousand pounds. With their teeth and their strong bite force, no one really wants to stay in close proximity with them. But it's a common consensus between mankind that anything young, small, and tiny are adorable. This young croc still trying to float is the definition of adorable. Imagine seeing its head and snout swimming towards you, but underneath, it has limbs spread out in the water like it's swimming towards you for a hug. When this video was uploaded on the internet, it instantly went viral with many people laughing over how silly the young crocodile looks. Don't get it wrong though, it may look adorable right now, but in a few years, wow. it will be a menacing and ferocious adult. So enjoy the cuteness while you can. Number 5. Palace Cat Everyone needs privacy, including cats. That's why this one palace cat seems unhappy that a camera is intruding on his place. The palace cat, more commonly known as Manol, is a wild cat with long, dense, and gray fur. And just like other felines, no matter how ferocious they are, we aren't immune to their cuteness. This one is Doesn't the palace cat look like the Grinch? You know, the Grinch who stole Christmas? Like, look at, look at this cat. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Doesn't that kind of look like the Grinch? Interesting. In particular seems to be simultaneously curious and disturbed about the camera filming him. 
It's adorable and funny how he slowly approached the camera and inspected uh -oh. it real close until he slowly went downwards out of the camera's view. Today, these cats inhabit the shrublands and mountains of the Caucasus, Iranian Plateau, Hindu Kush, parts of the Himalayas, Tibetan Plateau, Altai Sayan region, and South Siberian mountains. Because of poaching and threat to their habitat, their numbers are dwindling, and while there are efforts to conserve their numbers, it's still not enough to get them out of the red list. Number 4. Angel Saves Man From Near Death Real or Hoax? You Decide In this video captured by a supposed surveillance camera, we'll see a man on a bike almost wow. hit by a truck until a man comes in with the speed of light and gets him out of the way. This supposedly happened in China, and it's been circulating around the internet as real evidence of an angel. Some also believe that this may have been a person with real teleportation powers. Some believe that the video is a hoax, while some strongly believe that this footage is one of the few proof that there really are guardian angels among us. So, real or fake? We'll let you decide that on your own. And now Wait, it's real time- Real or fake? That's a decision you need to make. I just had to say it, guys. For today's pick, angels surround us every day figuratively and literally. They can be found in photos, books, figurines, and a lot more. Angels can be found across many religions, and they're quite significant. Many people claim that they saw their own guardian angels, and the internet is filled with photo and video evidence of the holy beings. Just take a look at this photo. What do you think? Do you think that this is really a picture of a real angel? This silhouette really represents how many of us view an angel, a majestic winged being. We also often that angel looked like it was wearing shoes, right? I don't know if you saw that, but portray them as tiny children with wings. But angels may be a bit more different than you think. Angels, according to the holy text, are a bit more bizarre. If you're curious about it, you might want to take a look at how the seraphim really look as described oh, by the yeah. Bible. You might be surprised as to how they look. What do you think of this photo? And do you believe that there really are angels among us? Yeah, looks like As shoes. always, let's keep things moving. Before we go on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. You just leave a like on this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. And that's it. Try it. Number three, two crimes happening at once. Coincidence is a funny thing. Take a look at this video, for example. This is video from a street camera. Here you'll see a man and a woman pass by each other. The man was carrying a child who didn't seem to be in a good mood, but he picked the kid up and went on his way. A few seconds later, the woman who was carrying some bags suddenly dropped them and spilled what looked to be blood on the ground. It was said that this video is footage of two crimes caught at the same time. One, kidnapping, wow. while the other, alleged murder. Now no one was supposed to see this video because people would automatically think the worst. After some research, the man is actually the child's father, who just seemed to be throwing a tantrum, while the woman just accidentally spilled oil on the ground instead oh. of organs and blood. She was actually carrying some groceries. I can't really blame people for thinking that these people are suspicious. But then again, we can't really just... It didn't look like blood to me. Uh, I was a little bit more suspicious about the guy, though, because, I mean, when, when he said that, People thought that two crimes had happened. I thought maybe there was a kidnapping happening and he was taking away that poor child and then this lady. Yeah, that doesn't look like blood. I mean, and it's hard to say, right? And we're talking about something from like a video camera, which is grainy, low quality. That could be anything, but luckily it wasn't. The situation just from one perspective nowadays. Number two, three-horned cow. This right here is a three-horned cow. You might think that this video is edited, but this bizarre looking cow actually exists. Some people claim that this is a Triceratops, but this is actually an Ancole cow. At first glance, the video might make your eyebrows raise because of the video's authenticity. However, after digging around the internet, we can certify that this video isn't edited and it's actually real. A few researchers with the help of NTV Uganda and the Ancole Cattle Breeder Society were able to track down this animal since the video originated in Uganda back in 2018. Then again, this really isn't the first cow with three horns. The Ancole is a breed of African cattle introduced to Uganda between five and 700 years ago by nomadic pastoralists. They're often characterized by their thick and long horns, 
which admittedly make them look like modern-day dinosaurs. Number 1. Scheming Delivery oh, Woman number one. Ever since door-to-door -door delivery has been a thing, most of us have relied on these online delivery services to get our food and groceries. It's very convenient, and with the recent restrictions brought by the pandemic, the number of people reliant on these delivery services have increased. However, sometimes we can't really trust strangers completely. In January 2021, wow. this security camera captured this DoorDash driver stealing a pup from one of her customers. The puppy, named Belle, is a nine-week-old American bully. She was originally staying on the enclosed porch in the Swinton family's house. When the owner went out to pick up her food, she noticed that Belle was missing. At first, she thought that the dog might have gotten out when the delivery person left, but she was surprised when she reviewed the security footage. Upon further research, she found out that the delivery woman wasn't really a registered employee of the service, and instead seemed to be a proxy of the actual delivery person she booked. Thankfully, authorities located the woman, and the dog was brought back to the Swinton safe and sound a few days later. The suspect then faced a felony larceny charge. What do you think of these videos? Do you know of any other viral videos on the internet that you think shouldn't have been uploaded? Wow, guys. I love watching these kind of videos because it starts to make you think about all the craziness, all the stuff that's kind of surround that we're surrounded by on a day-to-day -day basis. And the good thing is more and more people are starting to capture these things on camera, right? So now, I mean, almost everybody's got a cell phone. And so people are recording and capturing video footage and again, a lot of stuff that somewhat questionable that shouldn't even be uploaded, but people are uploading anyway. But good video. Uh, listen, wow, guys, that was incredible. Incredible. It's absolutely amazing um, with the amount of videos that are being uploaded now uh, on all social media platforms. Now here on YouTube, we get, it, it's we're quite fortunate because there's a lot of people on YouTube and there's a lot of people watching this stuff. And and the more, the, the, the good thing is like, if, if you look at where we are today, and even if you compare ourselves to like, say 10 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, there's a huge difference in terms of what people are uploading and the amount of things that people are uploading. Um, almost everybody now on the planet has some kind of a mobile phone device or a means to be able to record things. So we're finding videos from all corners of the world, right? In all different languages. And it's just absolutely incredible. Even in some of the most far away remote places on earth, people are recording videos there and they're posting it. They're uploading it on a daily basis. So it's absolutely, it's a great time to live in. It's a great time to be in. Um, some of these videos are kind of questionable. Uh, one has to think whether or not they should be uploading it, but but at the same time, it's uh, it's absolutely incredible. And just think where the technology is going to go, and just think about two to three years from now where it's going to be and uh, the kind of videos that people are going to be posting. Mind-blowing stuff. But listen, guys, I want to thank you guys for staying here till the end. Uh, you know, please, if you guys, if you guys like these videos, um, you guys will do us a great favor by smashing the like and subscribe and commenting on the videos and hitting the notifications as well so that you can be aware of any of the new videos that we post. Um, also, I'm, I'm proud to say, and I'm happy to say that we've allowed, uh, we've, uh, uh, we've, we've, now we have merch. We have merch to sell. We have merch available. Uh, for purchase and so uh, we partnered up with Teespring uh, so the link is in the descript description if you guys get a chance to take a look at it we've got everything from cool mugs to shirts uh, hoodies uh, we've got stickers uh, we've got all kinds of cool stuff so if you guys if you guys like that if you guys are into that yeah check it out and we also have like a special code uh, so you get 10% off on your uh, on your order so I hope you guys enjoy it uh, we've been, we've been, I've been hearing a lot of people who've been emailing me and messaging and saying, Hey, I really like your logo. It looks really cool. I'd love to rock that in a t-shirt or, you know, even have a mug. Well, now we have it guys and it's there. So I'd love to hear your feedback on that, but thanks again for staying till the end guys. I look forward to catching you guys on the next adventure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. In the meantime and in between time, that's it guys. we we'll look forward to catching you guys on the next one. Stay safe folks. Thank you.